Have you been to a McDonald's lately? These prices are out of control, but there's some meal deals for the summer. We're going to talk about your fast food savings. Then... We get into an actual legal case because we are judges. This week, we're settling the dispute of whether or not a man plays too many video games instead of spending time with his own family. Stay tuned for our verdicts. What you are listening to is real. The parties involved are not cool. They are actual geeks with a case pending in the court of public opinion. The party's case has been dismissed, and the dispute will be settled here on our podcast. There will be no lawyers. There will be no witness testimony. The judge's decisions are final. Hello, I'm Judge Ivan. I'm Judge Jonathan, and this is Geeks on Trial. Today's case, Game at Home Dad. Hello and welcome to Geeks on Trial. This is the podcast where we settle petty disputes between actual geeks over movies, video games, board games, and more. If you'd like to submit your own geeky case for a future episode, you can email us at geeksontrial at gmail.com. You can also help support the show over at patreon.com slash geeksontrial. For just five bucks a month, you gain early access to both our audio and our video episodes, plus Geeks on Trial Sidebar. It's a fun little show that we do when we're not here. That's right. That's when we go behind the curtain. And you get to see the exactly what goes on behind that curtain. It's some freaky. Well, we go behind the curtain. Sex stuff. We go behind the curtain. The camera's in front of the curtain, so it's really you don't see us. It's like a uh, shadow puppet show, if you will. Where the shadow puppets. Where the shadow puppets be making it. What are you supposed to not curse on YouTube for the first ten minutes or something? <laughs> Who gives a? <laughs> anyway, is that gone? Now? The show. You used to not be able to drink on YouTube. It you changes to to every week. Hey, speaking no... <laughs> speaking of YouTube, I got a question for you. Oh, you, you know, you know what a beast is, right? <laughs> oh, you're gonna go with this. You know what I didn't beast mention is? this in the video intro. No, but because that's, that's fine. Because it's a stupid. It's a stupid story. It's a stupid yeah. story that we're gonna talk about on the stupid, stupid show. So stupid. It's now listen, so stupid. Mr. Beast. Yeah, we all know who he is. The guy who puts we things. We all into, know Mr. Beast. He puts things into circles. He says, "Hey." Do, if you put these these items into a circle, you get to keep all of Best Buy or whatever he does. He just throws <laughs> throws money at YouTube. Now, you know he kind of makes he makes he makes content. He's he's, he's a decent content creator. I would, it's I quality would call content stuff. Would you vote okay. for him? Would you take your word vote for, for him for, for president, what for president for of the president of what uh, the the YouTube uh, audience? No, of these United States of America. President of the YouTube United States of America. The YouTube. That's what it'll be. Yeah. Yeah, but Why we, do you ask? Because apparently he put out a tweet not so long ago. A tweet saying mm-hmm. that, you know, or an X, I don't know what you call him now, saying that, you know, if, if they if they dropped the age, he would run for president. How old is he? Like 24. Like, he's like stupid young. He knows that he can just wait, right? Like, you don't have to drop the age. He can just wait longer. And but like, you know, okay. but he's famous <laughs> now. So he's 26 sure. years old. He was born in 1998. Oh, he's expecting in nine years his uh, his run will be over. Which <laughs> he's. Yeah. He's. Uh, he's... Yes, I'd vote for Mr. Beast. What, I, what, what party would he run under? under the, the Beast his, Party. Oh, oh, he would just start the Beast Party. You know damn well if he was allowed to like be a third party thing that like all of these people would come. Like he has. He might disrupt the system. He might be billions. The one to do he has it. billions of subscribers. New Trump. And like, yeah. New but Trump. I mean, it can't be worse than Trump. He, he you know, at, at least Trump had a, a failed TV show. This guy's doing this guy's doing well. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but also, I, mean, yeah. I also don't know any of his political standings. He could be a real piece of shit and we just don't know it. <laughs> yeah, well, he's staunchly anti-women, right. anti, right. <laughs> anti, uh, all non-white races. It's not Joe Rogan. He has a lot of politics that aren't that great. But yeah, but I you know, truly know what so little about Mr. Beast. I don't think I have ever watched a frame of a Mr. Beast video. Right. I know he I I know that I don't like his face. I can tell you that right now. But I that works like... for presidents. Presidents have sure punchable faces. This is this is what I don't like. Sorry, audio listeners, but I don't like the Well those are I can't even do it. <laughs> that's that's for the algorithms. That's not for I know I know what it's for. I understand that this is the thumbnail thing that he's yeah. like scientifically determined gets the most right. hits, but it just not doesn't work on me. It literally no. has the most repelling effect on me possible. I see that face and I'm like fuck out of here. Now I I don't know if I've like creeps. if I've aged like out of these Andy videos Valley. or if I just don't like them. But like, you know, Mr. It's I, for I, Zoomers. I used to watch him back when he was like, you know, a little like not crazy. I don't even say. I never even. I, I feel like I never heard of Mr. Beast until one day everyone was like, "Oh yeah, he's the most successful YouTuber of all time." I was like, "Okay." 
No I one think, told me. Where was I? I think I definitely watched him well before that. Like when it would like, oh, it came up in my Facebook feed. When, before like he that. was cool. Before he was cool. I remember the Mr. Beast. You're a Mr. Beast hipster. Yep. But yeah. So. And now I go to 7-Eleven. They got a Mr. Beast bar. They have a Mr. Beast burger. There's a restaurant. I'm not buying that. But that's why I think he would do well <laughs> as, as a president. Because he so took a, a little YouTube channel and he has an empire. Like... He did well, well we, for, yeah. I vote for him. For I would vote for him for somebody who's in his like early twenties, mid twenties. He did yeah. quite well, quite fast, and he knows how to work the system. Which, like, yeah. if you know how to work the system that well, just be a write-in. Like, if enough people write you in, I think you just have to be president. I think that's how it works. I think he should get a a, a doctorate and be Doctor Beast. Well, that's the other that thing too, because uh, apparently you can't be president if you didn't go to college. Is that true? I think that's one of the 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 things because that's what people were saying in the comments. Did Trump go to college? He bought a college and just printed his own degree. We, we bought about? a college. Right. I'm sorry, Matt Damon. Oh, that's that's an anyway. So, yeah. So that's that's a little bit of. Uh, well, unfortunately, he's not running. No, that's too bad. Right. Uh, it would be great if he did. Right. It'd be somebody young. I, I, It'd be somebody who knows how to work, you know, technology. And he'd like give us all every week. There'd be a new thing on TV where he'd give away a million dollars to somebody. Well, right? that's how you'd get free health care in the U.S. <laughs> You'd have to be on one of his participate in a squid game, right? (laughs) Which, I mean, we kind of are already. So, yeah, sure, that's what it all is. So, the Uh, real story of the week. Let's 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 go into a a tastier story of the week, and I think you have that for us. Oh, 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 yeah, right. I have this one. We both, we both know. Yeah, (laughs) yeah. Well, you know what's better than a Mr. Beast burger Mm. is a McDonald's burger. Oh, you, you, you. you, Mm. Mm. No, I was no, because like Mister, that's what I was doing there. Okay, McDonald's, it's yeah. fine. You you said it's okay. Did I? Uh, okay. And yeah, you just did just now. Oh. Yeah. Well, I don't know if people are aware of this. It's going mm. on right this second. Right now, McDonald's is running. They they they're they're coming out to compete, folks. The five dollar meal, and we're talking about it because you know these days fast food is getting more and more expensive. Everything is your eggs, your groceries, your clothes, your internet bills, your child services. Everything's getting more and more expensive these but days. But not our Patreon. It's five dollars a month. That's patreoncom slash Yeah. Time. We technically did raise that a couple bucks uh, <laughs> before this one started. Out. Oh, uh, yeah. So inflation, man. Inflation, man. Thanks, Mr. Beast. So anyway, y- yeah. For $5 at McDonald's right now, you can get a McChicken or a McDouble, four, four chicken McNuggets, fries, and a drink. And this deal is going to last uh, for about a month. It actually started, I think it goes until around the end of July. We're currently filming at the start of July. What? So... That's uh, that's real. Ex- I don't know. Does that excite you? What's do you, are you excited about the fast food prices being temporarily lower? I was kind of happy with them being. Um, I did higher. a lot of cocaine before the show. Sorry. I yeah. like the fast food prices being higher because I just did, didn't go. To oh, fast you like you're into that? Yeah, because I was like, oh, I don't want to spend ten dollars for a burger. Let me cook at home. It's fine. Sure. sure but sure, um, sure, so sure, the, the sure, only sure. reason why. McDonald's is doing this is because they basically screwed everyone by hiking. And, and McDonald's, we all know, is the biggest fast food chain uh, in the, the United States, basically. Well, I think, like, well, the world Subway. would be Subway, yeah, which is still mm. f- mind boggling to me. But um, And I don't know if you count Starbucks. That might be up there, too. I don't. Okay. I don't eat coffee. I drink it. So, you know, they kind of, like, set the bar for a lot of things and... And by them taking away their dollar menu, which was, you know, a, a good cheap way to go out and have some 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 crappy, unhealthy food on a decent budget. Can, I think the McChicken used to be a dollar. Like, that was the only reason why I would get the McChicken, because of the dollar. And the same thing with the four-piece nuggets. So they basically are, are, are taking all of their dollar menu items and putting them into this deal because they're hurting. They're hurting for money because people are like, why should I go to McDonald's when I can go to like an actual restaurant. So, so Danny and I, we used to, we would go to McDonald's occasionally to get a burger, fries, drink, whatever. But then we have a, a Chili's in the area. Our mm. local Chili's has something called the three for me deal. And for $11, you get an actual, like a decently cooked non McDonald's burger. So it's like, a, it's, are you being paid by big Chili's yeah. right now? <laughs> a, a burger, fries, soup, drink, and chips. For, for for $10 each, which is still cheaper and better quality food than going to a McDonald's, which is like, that shouldn't be. Like, McDonald's should yeah. be more expensive than, like, Applebee's and Fridays and stuff like that. 
I agree. Well, spe- well, especially I mean, I mean, those restaurants also used to be cheap. Well, yes. I, I mean, I guess I guess Chili's. You're saying I guess sometimes maybe they have a good deal, but I I feel like you go to a Friday's or an Applebee's now, and it's like what you would thirty dollars for a meal. What you pay at a real not, restaurant? Yeah, yeah. It's not a, a budget option anymore. Right. Like it should be because the food still sucks. Well, because <laughs> what Fridays and all those restaurants were was a bar with food. Also, they, they pivoted, I think, because they realized that you could make more money off of the drinks right. and stuff and play it, sports games. But it's just wild to me that it's like, you know, these places like like McDonald's is selling like I, too much Joe Biden. What's going on up there? What are you doing to us? And what was, there was a there was a quote somewhere from California because California's um, cost of living and, and, and minimum wage is higher now. And they're like the owners of is it? franchises are like, you know, I shouldn't have to charge. Twenty-one dollars for a kid's meal, but you don't need to. You don't. You you can just not take as much as a profit. That'd be fine. Kids under ten used to eat free. I used to. But I the still... problem. I don't think. I don't think the. Well, in terms of like the big corporations, yeah, the the fault of some right. of it is at yeah. the at, at the at the restaurant's feet. But a lot of it is just everything is right. more expensive. L- listen. Five dollar McDonald's meal though, it is kind of a good deal. That isn't I bad. Kind of I deal. do it is kind of it is <laughs> kind of shitty that it's only like double. one month. It's pretty good. Yeah, well it's because they, you know, they don't want to they like, can't do it. They're using this to make you go back to McDonald's right. when it's cheap, and then you're like, oh now I need it. Now it, you said because even comments were saying this, that they can't do this. They can. McDonald's food is like they could, but then they just wouldn't make as many billions of dollars. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing yeah or they'll do another they'll do a different they, they take a month off and then the next month it's like yeah this is a 650 meal and right we'll see how that goes and they, they try to they keep iterating until it hits their profits but this is want. something that places like taco bell has always had like the five between five and eight dollar boxes or like you know not when, anymore though that's changing but is yeah. it hmm. but then like the five yeah go ahead anyway yeah. then like that. wendy's has a five dollar <laughs> deal where it's the exact same thing that McDonald's yeah. does Burger King. Well, Burger King is just dead. But you, you gotta know. get on the apps. That's the real thing. That's the real truth. I, I would there if you're going to a fast food restaurant right now, people, and you're not on the apps, you're getting screwed. Because right. that's where all they want your data. They want your sweet juicy data. Just Which, give it to them. It's fine. worth it. You, you you they have that's where you get the points, the rewards, the coupons, the deals. Like uh, Wendy's always has the two dollars off. <laughs> this sucks. This podcast is stupid, but <laughs> but it's good. You gotta you gotta use those apps. I'm telling you, or just don't eat at any of these places because they're fucking garbage and they'll kill you. Well, and that's <laughs> so, the other thing too. The, the sometimes o- I want McDonald's and it's good. The only reason why they're doing the five dollar thing is because you know they were too expensive. They're like, huh, we can't do this. Let's just give yeah. them. Let's throw them a literal bone. If they could do this for five dollars, if they can do this There's for five, those McNuggets? yeah, probably. <laughs> if they could do this for five dollars for one month and sustain, they can do this all the time. So it's basically just saying uh, that the U.S. is the shit right now. We're just. I mean, that's true. I mean, I don't. Yeah, I mean, could is the is just a you know. I'm sure they have. There's just I don't know what their goddamn margins are. They need to hit or what stockholders want them to it do. It sounds like you're sticking up they got for corporations. <laughs> I'm just saying. Like you're a, a corp cuck. I just don't know. What the fuck? <laughs> you can't say that. <laughs> I just don't know enough about the restaurant industry to confidently say, of course they could. Like, yeah, I guess they could, but I mean, they still want to make money. <laughs> it's like, well, I they, don't. <laughs> but right now, if you look at it, like they're barely paying their employees. But the CEO sure. is getting away making, like, billions of dollars a year. Sure. Yeah, of course. Yes. Which so my like, issue is not – yeah, I'd rather they – I'd be more concerned about them paying their employees than I am about them pricing their food cheaper. Right. <laughs> like, if I take – I don't know. I don't know. Who Who cares? It's $5. You got to make fucking double. I don't know what you want me to say. McDonald's CEO makes 17 – I'm on the side of the people. $17 million a year. He can, he can get away with a million. That's not – that really that's it honestly that seems yeah. low yeah that's kind of for, <laughs> for McDonald's. all of the mcdonald's yeah. in the in the world yeah that's that's not that much yeah so they, they might be fucking up they might be <laughs> yeah, see, maybe they can't see they don't make that much money but taco He's bell struggling taco bell been doing it for years yeah well now they're they have a seven dollar box right now which is decent but and they don't uh hey, you can not get the five dollars anymore you can get that giant that giant cheese it you can. you can get that giant cheese. Get, it. Yeah, you can. Yeah. You can get that. 
So yeah, that's what we've been that. looking forward to in the future. Beast for president and five dollar McDonald's. <laughs> Welcome to America, this folks. This is the most dystopian <laughs> pair of subjects to now, discuss. Now, let me tell you why we chose these two news stories. There's nothing else. We love them. There's oh. nothing else going on in the world besides uh, mm. two old men uh, yelling at each other and just dying on stage to become president and and inflation yeah. for everything. There's well, no, not that, you know, we're trying to, we want to fit into the realm of geekiness. Right. So this is the closest we found was fast right. food and Mr. Beast. Yeah. So what this we're telling sucks. you is, Geek World, you guys need to step up your game. Give me a new gadget. Give me some new games. Give me something. I told you to watch Axel F. I don't. And he didn't watch mm, it. Bump, bump, the ge- bump, bump. Is the new song in the new movie? The new song the, is, is in the, the new movie. the old song in the new movie. Shut up. The old song is also in the, just, in the old just movie. Just <laughs> give me the story, the case file. Let's just move oh, on. Oh, boy. Let us know, folks. Give us your feedback. Uh, tell us how you feel about fast food prices and whether or not it's Mr. Beast's fault for inflation. I wonder how much a Mr. Beast burger costs. Do you think Mr. Beast can buy McDonald's? Fourteen ninety nine. He could probably buy the entire corporation of McDonald's. I mean, aren't they only uh, on the West Coast, or do we have those out here, too? What? Beast burgers. There's a Beast burger in the American Dream Mall. Oh, okay. Hmm. Let's hit it up. Get some of that juicy beast meat. Oh, don't. It's time to move on to today's case, which comes to us from the internet. You can find a link in our episode description or the show notes. Our defendant today is Tyler. Tyler is a husband and a father, as so many are. And after a long day at work, Tyler likes to come home, eat some dinner, and then he plays a couple of rounds of Call of Duty. He says roughly 30 minutes to an hour of video game time. Now, his wife, Tyla, who is a stay-at-home mom and currently pregnant, takes issue with this habit, insisting that Tyler should be spending more time with her and the kids. Just one kid right now, but there'll be more in the future. Uh, She also thinks that Tyler is spending too much time on his phone when he is around the family. Tyler protests that he always stops what he's doing if the kid needs him for something, and that his daughter prefers spending time with his mother right now anyway, so... What's the difference? As dual judges here on Geeks on Trial, it's now our job to determine whether Tyler takes too much time gaming or if Tyler should try to stop shaming. Sorry, I, I, it looks like you're... Are you are you looking at something on your mm-hmm. phone right now? Is what? that a... It what? just looks like you're... Um, uh, uh, did you get a text or um, an email or something? I'm busy. Um, okay, well, because we're... Yeah. Just take care of the kid. It's fine. No, no, there's not a... The kid is the podcast and we're... What? Yeah. So, I'm going to go play video games. I don't games. know if you, I'll see you later. Have, it takes two hosts to raise a podcast properly. Okay. Uh, a, a, a single parent podcasts mm. gr- don't do grow it. up often. They are maladjusted. And you can tell how much <laughs> I don't get. It's not even on. Wow. That's not even a phone. That's, not even a phone. that's, a, that's a Hershey's bar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You just, you just CGI'd in a phone. Yep, that's it. So, so Tyler and Tyler, these Tyler are and Tyler. two people you know how that works. who are presumably married. They, yeah. they they had a child together. Not you don't need to be married to have a kid. Hey, do what you do. I mean, if you don't want to be a sinner in the eyes oh, of the fucking Lord, you do. He's right. He's right. So yeah, yeah. So they're they're a family, a a a a, a single income family. Let's say because uh, Tyla works from home. She not works from home. She's, she's a stay. She's, she's a, a stay at home mom, mom, which is a Doesn't job in like itself. She's employed. Oh, it's the hardest job. It's the in hardest the world job in the world. Being a mom. So the hardest job in the world is being a mom. And it sounds like Tyler works. I think he said like twelve hour days. I don't know if that's a if if Tyler yes. is working a twelve hour shift or is it like an eight yes. hour job with like a two hour commute every day. Tyler says he is a service manager for a high volume dealer, and that he is out of the house. He's not working twelve hours a day, but he's gone for 12 hours of the day for, for the time it takes for his commute and so, so on. So he sells drugs? Like, what What does this job mean? I, I don't know. S- that means he works at Ikea. I don't know what that means. Is is yeah, Maybe it's drugs. Can you it's, say, it's say it again? Two. What is What did he say his job is? It's, it's a high... He is a service manager, manager. Okay. for a high-volume dealer. Honestly, that is the least descriptive <laughs> way to say <laughs> what your job is at all. He's I, a service manager a for service a... Man- he manages the service at so, a, for a dealer. I don't don't know what any of this. What do they deal? I don't know, but it's a lot of it. Now, it's a high was it volume. like a deal, like a, like a like a poker dealer? Like is he working at a casino? I don't think that's what it is. No, okay. I don't think that's. I'm picturing a warehouse, and he's like managing the day to day importing and exporting and what have you. That's what I'm thinking he does. So this is George Costanza. 
No. George was, Costanza? That wasn't George. <laughs> who who was like the importer and exporter on Seinfeld? That was a whole joke. Art Vandelay? That might have been that. Uh, yeah, that might have been that whole thing. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. <laughs> but so, anyway, so this really made up Seinfeld. job that he just put in, so he doesn't want to tell people what he does for a living. This is basically somebody <laughs> telling us they don't want to tell maybe the big government shit. Might be yeah, some maybe, government maybe, shit. They maybe, might be listening right maybe now. He's CIA or something. I don't know. So maybe, maybe he works for Mr. Beast. Maybe he's importing, this, exporting all of Mr. Beast's burgers. This might be Mr. Beast. So we don't know what the man maybe. does, but but he does some kind of work that, does. that keeps him away he's from like Walter White from his house for more than half of the day. You know, half of twenty four is twelve. So yeah, if you're asleep. That's a rough. If you're asleep for, let's even say six hours a night. Right. And then you're out of the house leaving to or going from or at work for 12 hours. This leaves you with roughly six hours of time to yeah. do anything. Well, let's think about it this way. because I Hell, I, a hellish existence. I used to work a real job before doing any of this. And, and, and it was an eight-hour oh. job. Then Ugh. you get eight hours of sleep. So you have eight hours to do stuff as you long as you're- You didn't get eight hours of sleep. Come no, on. No, 15. <laughs> but, you know, but it would be like, you know, your day is broken up into three parts. Work- Breakfast, S- sleep, lunch, and dinner. Dinner. <laughs> so throwing twelve hours and into bath this time, assuming don't wake daddy. Assuming this is like you know, including travel time, including you know not yeah, yeah. time that he's on the road. Mm-hmm. He's out of the house a lot. He's out yeah, of the he's house not there much, quite a bit, and really minus maybe having a lunch break, having. A, a, a coffee break during his work day. He doesn't have a lot of him time, a lot of me time, mm-hmm. which can be difficult when you are in a relationship, let alone a relationship where you have a child. So it is difficult for him to, you know, have some of this is, is his alone time. But mom is with kid all day. <coughs> mom. <coughs> Mommy, mommy, where's daddy? <coughs> I miss him. So, you know, the mom's at home taking care of that whiny little brat that we just heard. That was a real audio clip. Somebody gave us a reel-to-reel audio clip of this baby. Yeah. Um, well, that's a new thing we're going to start doing is reenactments. This is audio reenactments. And, you know, so she's at home taking care of the child, working hard, doing, do, do, doing I'm assuming, house, house housework, floors, chasing after. And I think the kid is less than a year old or, like, just around a year old, so... A lot something of like a lot 18 of, months. A lot of work right now with with kids not being able to feed themselves, uh, they, they, pooping things. You know, oh, that's what God. kids do. The kids kids Come eat and poop. On. That's all no. they do. No, no, they don't. Oh, oh they no. don't even. That's... So let's just not go there. So you know, so like I understand where both of them are coming from. You know, like Tyler says, he has given up going to the gym and his jujitsu. <laughs> I'm sorry. And you know what that means? It means if an intruder breaks into the house, who's gonna screwed. fight him? Who's gonna fight him? The baby? He's 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 missing leg day, arm day, every day. His his he's got noodly limbs that can't do anything. I know because that's the situation that I'm in. <laughs> noodly and limbs. He's, 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 he's who knows what belt he had in jujitsu, but it's probably downgraded now. He can't remember any of his back kicks or his flips or his punches, his judo chops. He can't do any of that. Somebody somebody breaks in with a gun and says, "Give me your kids." They got to hand him over. Got to hand him over. Red Rover, Red Rover, hand that child over. So basically the moral of this entire story is birth control? Vasectomy? Wouldn't have had a kid. Or, you know, maybe don't work 12 hours a day. Coat hanger? Co- what? <laughs> but so, you know, like, unrela- that's an unrelated, um, unrelated. No, you need to hang your coat somewhere. I wasn't listening to what you were saying. No. That was something I, I just thought of un- yeah, unrelated. So, unrelated. yeah. What? what? So he plays. And, and now we 30 minutes to one hour of his day, he says right. every day, at least on a weekday, I'm assuming. I don't know about a weekend. Maybe he I don't know how often he works. He might work on right. weekends. I don't know what his, his exact schedule is, but he's coming home. He's settling down with Call of Duty. Why is it always? So we had a case. Yeah, uh, I was going to ask a few months too. ago. About a guy who uh, uh, who wanted to play video games on Christmas. That was a whole thing. But it was also Call of Duty. Right. Uh, I guess it's, I mean, it is maybe the one of the most popular video games in the world. Uh, so I guess that's just the answer right. to this question. 
But it does seem that that's the... I also think Call of Duty has... It's almost like Fortnite for adults where there's a social aspect where you get to right. talk to people. And it's more of like a... It's a it's more of the common... Like the, 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 the common game that like people just know about. It's mainstream. Mainstream. Yeah, yeah. Everybody knows normie. about it. It's been around yeah. for a long time. I mean, we've talked about this before, but it is just hard for me to relate because for me, that's not... Video games for me are not my social time unless people are over right. Right. Video games are when I'm by myself and I play something by myself. People are so over. I'm so over people. That's over. last month's shit. But you're right. Yeah. So like if you only have 30 minutes to an hour every like I'm not I don't want to play the exact same thing over and over again or like, you know, but, watch but the same thing. But it is his I'll just say this is also his he doesn't get to like see his friends. You know what I mean? He doesn't right. get to hang out. With, this maybe is when he gets to talk to people. Right. This is his equivalent of 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 your goddamn wife yapping on the phone to her girlfriends all the time about makeup. Well, that's if she even has time too. you know, she is actually you know doing shit at home. But I was thinking, I so guess I broke it down. So he works for 12 hours. 12 hours <laughs> of his day is work related. Then the average human sleeps around eight hours that literally gives that's 20 hours right there that gives I was him being generous that i feel like i feel like he probably sleeps more like six because it might with a I, kid, I doubt most people aren't really getting eight hours of sleep right like that's not actually happening for most i don't people. know i don't think it is if, you, if people who have jobs i don't think you're most people actually, get eight hours unfortunately so that leaves him between like four and six hours of him time that's not like that's also including like Okay, you're waking up for work, eating breakfast before you go to work, then go like doing your lawn. Like, there's other things involved in this, but it, like four to six hours per day of him time, family time, child time. Like, there's time, it's very limited in the amount of hours that he has in a day for himself, let alone family time. But, you know, I totally like when I used to work a, a regular nine to five, uh, I, I, you, you need to come home and decompress. You know, you, you come home from the job, come home, either watch something on TV, scroll your phone, play a video game, something to bring Numb your brain. <laughs> basically. Yeah. And, and like get you into like coming home from work and like getting re acclimated to home life again. But and, you know what you don't have, my friend, is a uh, little child. Right. That's, that's going to be my next subject, because the second you have a child of any age, um, let alone a toddler. <laughs> they, usually, they usually come out at a certain age and then they grow from there. But yeah. I came out at a certain age. I haven't done that yet. I know. <laughs> we're, we're still waiting. So, you know. You never know. I so, like to play it coy. So, <laughs> so, you know, the second you have a child... I feel like your alone time, the second you have a, 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 a newborn to a toddler, your alone time as a parent is gone. Like, there are so many things where it's like, oh, you know, we had this kid. We haven't seen our friends in like four years or so because there's a newborn. You know, somebody needs to watch it, feed it, bathe it, make sure it's, you know, staying upright. You know, baby born, baby born. You know, making sure somebody doesn't shake it, making sure, you know, there's, there's a lot of things. <laughs> You have to make sure. High alert. You, you got to have signs up in the vicinity. Do not shake baby. Right. Do not shake baby. Animals it is not might, a shake weight. Animals might come and eat your baby. You got you to watch he, out. He might be trying to, you know, he can't go to the gym. He's trying to double the baby as like an exercise tool. He lifts it right. for, to pump his arms. He does the but shake I, weight. <laughs> you know, 30 minutes a night, 30 minutes a night isn't really some gifts out of this anything, <laughs> anything crazy that you want to spend and just chill. Like, you know... I guess that's a, what a normal match in Call of Duty. I don't know how that. Works. I mean, it's no, I'm probably. I don't think there. I don't know if there's a set time, but you right. could. It probably varies. And like, or that's like an episode of a TV show or something, just to come home and, sure. and chill for a second. But you're right. There's there's baby in the picture. There's there's you know, a baby. Mostly, my biggest takeaway from this story is how much I never want to have a child. Right. Because <laughs> it's just. Such a uh, man, just the the freedom that is taken away from you. I mean, let's be let's be real. I mean, that's part of it. But I really the biggest part of this is his job. Like that's the thing yeah. that's sucking up all his time is not yeah. the kid. It's this whatever this job is that I don't know if the issue is 
the commute is like a two hour freaking commute. Right. Or he just is that important that he has to be on the floor for that many hours a day. Well, and it that's seems why crazy. it's insane to me that like a lot of people, if you don't live like we we're in a decent area that like if we need to go to the city, if we need to go to wherever, it's not that terrible of a drive. But think about the, the thousands of people in America right now who have to like literally go sit in traffic for two hours. Like two hours seems like a lot, but like if you have to drive from like the country into the city or whatever, yeah. that's a lot of time. Like you it, might it's, have to take the bus or a train. Right. So that's like a major thing that like, like I feel Uber like <laughs> with um, when COVID hit, that was one of the good things that we gained from that was people can work from home if your job isn't a physical labor job. Yeah, this guy can't manage his service from home right? <laughs> because of how, how high the volume right. is at the dealer. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, you know, like a lot of jobs like working in IT, doing just accounting stuff. What, like if you have an office job, nine times out of ten, he can be home spending time with Babby. And just being a family, but this is literally half a day. Is okay. Dealing I'm with looking. I googled high volume dealer. Oh god! <laughs> Everything that I see, you're gonna listen. It makes it look like it's referring specifically to car dealerships. Maybe. Oh, that makes sense. Because what is his? So what did he dealers, actually say? Like he's, a Toyota dealer. So he's, he's managing car dealers i guess i mean that's my best guess that is literally when i say i guess i mean it <laughs> but like i also like car dealerships aren't open i don't know maybe there's know. a lot of um they are they well at least like the one i go to is because you, you can get a service appointment at like 6 a.m mm, oh yeah I'm he says he says he's the service manager maybe he literally means like servicing the cars also, I don't yeah, know. he could be. We're just taking this. This is detective work. What we're doing right now, you know, he could be, <laughs> yeah, in charge of all the the oil change area, like that kind of stuff. Which at that point, you know, and but it has to be a. I don't so know that, how, and that could be. I could see that being like a long, annoying job. You got to be there. But it's also day. he's a he's the it's a single income family with a child, so it has to be something that is making quite a Must bit pay of pretty money. Well. Not that, sure if you're, it if could. you're in charge of that. That's probably you probably do deal. Okay. And if you're working for yeah. like a like a Ford dealership or like a name brand yeah, yeah. company, which you know I just don't know how, uh, how money works. Yeah, it's high volume. And if that's the thing, if he's like, if this is a physical labor job versus an in office job, that's a whole different subject too. Because like he needs to come home and like he's been physically doing stuff all day. Yeah, well, he's probably running around getting people to sign things right. and looking at. Helping managing. You look at this car. We got this one backed up here. Right. What? Who knows? You right. know all that business. Now, <laughs> and then also he's smuggling all that cocaine in the truck. Right, because he's a dealer. So now you want to look at the other side of this. Is like you know, I guess we gotta look at poor old mom. You know, thirty minutes to an hour a night. Not that big of a deal. Doesn't sound like a crazy amount, right? But you throw in the other things that mom was saying. He is constantly on his phone. And mm. not watching Babby. He claims in the in the Poor case Bobby. the case that oh the, the the baby is having her 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 their mommy moment, so they only want to deal with mommy. Is that really a thing or is that something he kinda like made up in his head like, oh, the only one's mommy, gotta go by? Or is that like, you know, yeah. because you're not I mean, in the picture enough to where kids like, <laughs> who you at who are you? I mean, I believe it. I also right. believe it's probably maybe it's partly an excuse but right like I, I it's hard to say like i i do think that can be a thing like certain kids will oh yeah gravitate towards one parent or the other but yeah it's not like that doesn't mean oh then i can fuck off all the time <laughs> right and you can just but, gotta get away with doing shit like th then at that point you need to like maybe make more face time with the child so child you know knows who you are but you know the the other thing is you come home from work. Mom's been with baby, assuming alone, assuming there's not like, you know, yeah, family yeah. members, whatever. Mom mm -hmm. wants to go take a shower. Mom wants to go like, maybe mom wants to yeah, go play, does. play video games. Maybe, you know, take the she baby doesn't. for an hour. She doesn't. That's but, actually a specific part of this case. Right. He says that we should bring this up because it's important. He says that he's been a gamer since he was a kid, but his wife, Tyla, Tyla hates yeah. gaming. She hates it. Hates it. Not a gamer. She's, she's anti-gamer. So, anti-gamer. So does that, does this 
case change if he's reading a book for an hour? Is the question. Well, I would say no, because she also mentions or he also mentions being on the phone. So, like, we take gaming out True. of this and he's if he's just scrolling. What if we replace that with reading an ebook? <laughs> it's still not paying attention to the kid. Assume also assuming that, like, he's gaming, like, in his office alone somewhere. And that, that part. Yes. But I do. I mean, there's two kind of two separate issues, but I do. The, the, I, I, here, look, look, I'm not a goddamn parent that I know of, <laughs> uh, but there. And, and so, so I think it's easy from the outside looking right. in to say you shouldn't be on your phone. Spend time with your kid, blah, blah, right. blah. But I think that, you know, when you are a parent and you got to deal with these goddamn right. kids every goddamn day, do you like do, must you really for every hour of, of every minute right. you're spending with them be locking eyes with your kid and talking right. to them? You'd kill yourself from right. how boring it is. <laughs> you know, you, there is and then I, there's a lot. There's a point where, yeah, maybe it's too much. It's hard for me to say. Uh, whether or not Tyler's crossing that line in, re in regards to just talking about the phone thing right now. Right. Like, cause also we're in a place where everyone's looking at their phone all the time. It's like, it's, it's not, and that may not be a good thing, but I don't right. know that it's specifically a Tyler thing. thing. Well, That's it's also too, just like what the world is now is, you know, it? first off, I love that you're like, Oh, spending time, locking time it with your kid. Ass. It's boring. <laughs> you are not built to be a father. Uh, talk to a parent. Ask them if they like oh, no. spending time with their kids. I'm they sure don't. it's boring. <laughs> but like it's boring as shit. They all will tell you. Right. All of them. It's not just me, a childless man. No, I know. Pa no parent. If you ever talk to someone who has kids, they're miserable. They're tired. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's hard. Right. No, it is. Now, it, now it, breaking it down into like you know being on your phone. That kid's gonna be watching Bluey or Sesame Street or something. Yeah, be on sure. your phone then, Mr. But it, Beast. <laughs> Oh, God. That's but what it, they're watching. But it sounds like from, and Tyler reported this case to us. This is his, this is his <laughs> yeah, writing. He sent this in for hot off the presses, this case. This is very new. So for him to be saying, you know, she's saying I'm on my phone too much. I'm doing the, like, is it like, okay. He, he was came, on his phone posting this story right. as she was complaining. <laughs> you know, not, we got to take away baby from this. Yes, there's take time. Take away baby. <laughs> there's time where it's like, okay, you have a baby here. You can be on your phone while baby is distracted. Or how about you talk to your wife? How about you have communication and spend time with your significant other who is, A, you guys are clearly not seeing each other for 20, 12 hours a day. Like this, this is, you're out in the world working, talking to other humans, being interacting with, with, with people who aren't, you know, under the age of two. Where you come home and, and your your significant other, your partner, your your lover. You're talking about the baby now, or no, the the Tyla. Okay. Tyla. Tyla hasn't like been really interacting with humans as much as Tyler has. So you know, come home, like put down the phone and spend time with your your goddamn partner. Like talk to your wife and like, you know, talk about maybe getting that vasectomy. You know, like having that conversation <laughs> of you know maybe we don't want to come on. Don't you, isn't there a reason you, you don't have a wife? They kind of suck, right? Well, that's why I said partner. <laughs> did you, you said wife at one point. I did. He has a like, wife. He has a wife. Yeah. So Part I'm just, I'm just saying. Partners are. I'm word. just saying. Don't please. Don't anyway, say um, <laughs> I well, uh, what about partners in crime? Which I guess parents are. Sure. Yeah. If well, all, and don't forget that Tyla is pregnant as well. Uh, so that, that certainly complicates things. She's right. uh, uh, one thing is for sure. I'm going to say this right now. Like when people say that before they say something, they mm -hmm. say they're going to say something. Right. Just so you know, because otherwise you might not listen. But if they're like, I'm going to say something, then you go, oh, that's up there. In. That's up there with I'm not racist, but it's like, mm, hold on. Is it? Is it? <laughs> Those are my two I don't know that it's. I don't think it's the same oh, because I feel like you're going to say something racist. I don't know why. Well, now I am. <laughs> <laughs> but only because you made me right. think of it. I'm going to say it. So, uh, the French. <laughs> no. <laughs> they're the one you can still you tell, can. say they're pieces of shit. Oh, yeah, you can. They're pieces yeah. of shit. Yeah, why not? Um, what was I going to say? I was going to say something. Right. Both of these people 
I think their lives are not good right now. Right. Yeah. No, they're both. They tired. are overworked. They're tired. They're busy. Yeah. They're like clearly there is tension. I think a lot of mm-hmm. the tension in this case in particular comes mostly just from their specific circumstances. Right. And the question is also, is Tyla getting a chance to take an hour off and and do something for herself? Right. Uh, and if not, then clearly she sh- should have a time to do that. Um, he d- he mentions them going to bed, actually, before he does in the case. Come on now. Uh, he mentions that they, uh, like, are often, like, at, at night. Uh, oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. It's the opposite. He they nap during the day. He goes to bed a little early because he has to wake up at 5 a.m. Right. He goes to bed by like 10. And then so they're usually awake while he's sleeping. So that's also maybe part of the problem is that he's literally asleep. Like even when he's home. Right. He's asleep. Well, I that's mean, the also whole thing, an issue, too, any... because like baby baby naps during the day. Mom's probably getting yeah. up every when when Wait, when he's saying. Sorry, continue. I'm like, just... like mom's probably getting up, get feeding baby during the night, doing baby. Like, so she's taking a nap sure. when baby's napping. But he's saying that the this eighteen month old is awake a, at a, an hour or two after nine thirty p.m. That seems unusual to me. Like, no, waking up. Or he like just says I'll wake for an hour or two, usually after he goes to bed at nine thirty to ten p.m. So like the mom's not putting the baby, or they're not putting the baby down until like I guess maybe eleven. That it's still young enough that the baby just kind of naps on and off, and there's not a consistent schedule. I don't really know. I would think by the time you're like two, though, you're going if you're in bed by. But also 8 like yeah, maybe I'm I mean, wrong. I'm not a parent. Every I've kid's seen different. Par- but like usually you, you like put the kid. You've been a child. I've been a child. And I had a very strict uh, time to go to sleep. And like, you know, as a baby, I 7 think. 7 p.m. <laughs> you, you, but like, but like, that's a, like you feed kid. Like that's kid, a bit weird. Like kid goes to sleep early. Like that's always been like the, the, the yeah, thing. Yeah, right, right. That's they the go to saving sleep. grace of being a new parent is that right. at, the kid will go to sleep at some point. <laughs> and you have like two hours to like chill before you go to sleep or you just fall asleep on the couch. I think they're both doing something wrong. I think they're, they're, they're messing something up. Because I think the biggest parenting. thing that we could take away from this is time... Don't have a kid. Work time management. Don't get married. Don't get a you job. Know, work time <laughs> management is a big thing that people are struggling yeah. with, uh, yeah, assuming yeah. they're in the U.S. And it's like, how am I supposed to have a proper life where I need to work one, two, or three jobs to get a shitty apartment and, and just survive? And this is why like, there's people online who are like, well, there's so many people of this generation not having kids. We don't have time. Yeah, or money, or in, it yeah. always it always boils down to capitalism. Right. Almost every one of our cases that is the real that is right. the true culprit. I, in a vacuum, let's 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 circle back to the core of this case with the video game thing. In a vacuum, I don't feel like like if I, if I simply said, without any context, uh, a fa- a parent of any gender, mm-hmm. a parent with a kid and a job, whether the job be parenting or working or whatever you know real work um should be entitled to a little bit of time to themselves not only should be each day but like i don't think they would be as good of a parent without it like you you have if you'll go nuts if you don't get a little bit of relaxation time in a day to yourself so I think that that's I think that that's a statement that is true Just general, even if you don't have kids. But go on. It's so it really boils down to the managing of when each person, how you split your responsibilities right. up and make sure nobody is feeling right. left out or overworked or unfairly treated because of the circumstances. And that's the, the hard thing. I let's, do, it, Yeah. That's yeah. also yeah. when you need like. Like, I'm very much a calendar, write things down, to-do list kind of person. And I think that's more Nerd. so a thing when you're a, a household. Loser. Like, you know, right. have a have a thing on the fridge. Like, okay, dad's, as long as everything is, you know, baby's not sick, there's not fire in the house, you know, something, you know, put down on the calendar. Okay, from, you get home at six, from six to seven, this is your chill time. But from, like, seven to eight, this is when we do family time. Like, kind of have a I've... loose, structure thing, which you need to do when you have a kid. 
I mean, that's a, to it's a beautiful idea, but I feel like right. that's probably very hard with a kid, too, because right. you don't know. You can try. I mean, you could just put it, have it there as a guideline. Right. Like, like do an attempt to kind of do that, which it doesn't seem like. Well, it sounds like he does, kind of. It sounds like he gets home, he eats dinner, and then he plays Call of Duty. <laughs> that, that is his, like. Well, no, at least he he's not. It. Now, and we also have to assume, okay, he comes home and eats dinner. Is this family dinner? Is it him, Tyler, Tyla, and. and they're probably and, all. I'm assuming they're all there. And Tylette. Sitting at the table, yeah, right. having family Tyler dinner. Jr. If that's the case, then you're you're spending some time with your family before you go and, and do video games. You True. know, and that was always even the thing of like you know going back to like Isle of Lucy or like all those shows from Two yesteryear. Beds. You know, Dad comes home and reads the newspaper for like half an hour. Smokes his pipe. Yeah, but like they have that. <laughs> so like making it about video yeah, well, games is kind I don't of like know a. If, uh... I don't know yeah, if it's going to be not... the most. <laughs> we probably shouldn't compare it to the no. 1950s television housewife view of things. But, <laughs> but yeah, but you know what I, I mean? Because I see Tyla as well. Like, I understand if, uh, if I was home all day with the kid, the right. second someone else walks in the door, I'm like, take this gremlin and let go. me leave. Let me, or I just mean, talk to me. How was your day? How's, I mean, what's this the is, grass look like outside? Every time I visit my sister, mm-hmm. any chance that there's any time there's another adult in the vicinity, Have they're like, child. see ya. Right. <laughs> I'm out of here. Oh, where are you I'm guys going? I'm going to nap. <laughs> yeah, they're like, they're just desperate for, please uh, just watch this kid for 15 minutes. Now, I want to, you uh, know, bring up, you know, a, a real world situation. We, uh, me and my partner 11. don't have a child, but, you know, I'm the stay at home partner. While my partner goes and works a nine to five job, and we, we like I know when mm-hmm. he comes home from work, hardest job there is. When he comes home from work, he's you know he chills for like an hour, either playing video games, scrolling the internet, watching yeah. an episode of Law and Order, like something where it's like I'm just going to chill, and I'll be like, hey, how's your day? Like we'll have a little banter back and forth. Oh, That's nice. But I'm not going to be like, you know, okay, you're home. Let's go mow the grass. Like, you know, like it's not going to be like, let's go do. Well, like, there's no kid. When you don't have a kid, right. it's just the two of you. There's no, you don't have any obligations to, to anyone, really. It's just like you can. Right. You're free to do that kind of thing. It's but the I damn still, child. But even though we don't have the child, we still have like a set, not set time, but it's like, a, it's like an unwritten rule. It's like, okay, he's coming home from work. Chill. You know, he sure. might have had a shitty day at work. A, you don't want him to, like, freak out, like, be mad from work stuff and be mad in home life. So it's like, okay, chill and, and, and have your time to, you know, we've all worked some kind of job where it's like, okay, we're just going to come home. We're going to sit for a little bit and then do whatever, you know. But what if he, but what if he every day for an hour uh, played rugby and you hate rugby? I mean, if I could just bring the, the true example <laughs> into it. He comes home and plays World he of Warcraft. Star Trek. Oh, no, okay. he'll come home and play World of Warcraft. I fucking hate that game. It's it's. I don't get it. It's stupid. It's whatever. Hey, come on. And don't you know, be... come on. Okay, I'm sorry. Rugby. And uh, fine, he plays it. I don't understand the the, the 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 appeal to it, but it's something I don't like. I'm gonna go do something I like. But you throw mm. a kid in there. He's like, you know, if we had a kid, there wouldn't be time for that. Because, oh, he's coming home doing something he likes while it's like, I don't like babies. No, no one does. No one does. Pedophiles. Well, yeah, probably, yeah. Yeah. uh, Pediatricians pays their bill. I I already said. Oh. Hmm. So this is hard for me to pick a side, but I'm kind of, I'm, I'm kind Uh, of ready for my uh, verdict. Okay, if you're ready for it, I'm going to, I will hear it. So, Tyler is working a ridiculous amount of hours in his day and, and, and spending a stupid amount of time away from home because he has to. It's not like he's, oh, let me go golf for 12 hours. Let me go, you know, like he's not outside of the know. house for 12 hours doing something he wants to do. It's, it's Unless he likes his job, whatever. But it's something that he needs to do because we need money in the U.S. to, you know, survive. But he should be, when he has a family that he, they chose to have this child. This was, they, there are options to not have children. Well, you never know. And, you know, they had this child together. The eyes he of knew, the Lord wouldn't allow certain he, things. He knows the Except stipulations 
behind having a kid and like, you know, oh, I'm having this kid. Okay, game time is going to need to go away for a while. The cell phone time, maybe I could limit it. But, you know, there like you, we've said, there are times where it's like, oh, kids watching TV, I could scroll on the phone. Or have the laptop in the living room with you, play your game while you're still watching kid crawl around and, and, and do whatever kids do. Like, there's a, there's a way to do this where you're not cornering yourself off inside of... Am I boring you? Is this... No, no, no. Just keep, I'm just resting my eyes. Oh. I'm resting my eyes. Mm-hmm. Just keep talking. Keep talking. Um, Tyler's guilty. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. He is guilty Oof. of... Who's guilty? Being... Tyler's guilty. Tyler's guilty. Tyler. Not, uh, is a little uh-huh. guilt... Being a little guilty of being a little selfish. I think he's... he's, he's, he's you know, he, he's being a little selfish. He, he's had this kid. He's he needs to step up to the plate and deal with child and, 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 and let him, not even child. He needs to talk to the woman that he chose to be his life partner and, and spend some adult time. Not not like that. Not that kind of adult time because you don't want to have any more kids. I spend some like- adult time with her. I think once Sorry. your gavel hits, you should that that, you're, that means you're done. Well, because somebody like, was being rude and falling asleep while I was having. No, I was resting my. I was resting my so... eyes. I told you I was just resting my eyes. Yeah. Audio listeners don't even know that that's happening. You don't need to call. Attention oh, I'm gonna to let it. them know. I'm gonna let them know. I'll put the I'll put the video in the audio. Well, you're always on your phone during every. It's true. S- single scene. Well, you need to watch or, or a Hershey's bar. It's one of the two. Right. My hands are sticky. It's my turn to give my verdict now. Okay. I don't really blame either parent for feeling the way that they feel in this scenario. I, you, you said it at the beginning, I kind of empathize with both of them. Uh, I don't know if maybe there's some re- resentment on, um, on Tyler's side that Tyla uh, doesn't have a job outside the home. I don't know if there's money issues there's a lot of factors that we don't know about that are probably adding stress to this relationship and just this life in general. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's just, it's a, it's a messy, complicated thing. There's all kinds of things that I, I, I feel like most of the problems of this case are external factors that are at, that are making things worse, adding pressure to their lives that I, I, I get it. I don't think anyone involved here is a bad person mm-hmm. or is, doing something terribly wrong. Mm. They all just want to, they want to raise their kid. They want to live their life. They want to get through the damn day. Right. Right. Uh, I don't think Tyla is too much at fault. Now I, you know, the whole hating gaming thing, that's one of those things that I'm sure with the added stress of a kid and the job and all this stuff, that's probably become a, a point that maybe I do think, that's part of it. And she maybe needs to get over that aspect and allow her husband to have a hobby. Every, every day call of duty feels like a lot, even if you are working a hard job, not that it's not that you shouldn't for the average person play call of duty every day, but the fact that it's this whole thing and with the kid, it feels like you could take a day off here or there or something. (laughs) The phone thing, I'm I'm almost disregarding that completely. Look, uh, let me let me just cut to the chase. I think I'm gonna give Tyler a. For me, it's a very soft guilty. I'm calling him guilty, but I, only only because he needs to work out a plan. He needs to talk to his wife. He needs to probably at least when he gets home from work. I know he's tired. And he's been working all day. But so has she been with the kid all day. He needs to, I think, before anything, also sounds like she's maybe making dinner. He needs to give her, especially because he's also pregnant right now. That's a big part of this. He needs to give her, like, a little bit of her time. And then he can have a little bit of him time. Or he needs to change his schedule a little bit so that he has some time while they're asleep. Or she maybe she needs to change their nap schedule so that they nap later in the day so that that's when he can have his time. The two of them need to come together to work this out. Uh, so, like I said, a soft, guilty. I don't think it's anything terrible, but probably a little bit more of the blame I put on him to try to do something. Put your fucking phone sorry, away. Sorry, sorry. I was ignoring baby. No, yeah, I do Piece agree. And, and and like, you know, be it video gaming, if he was like playing fantasy football 
Would it be the same? Like, I feel like she would hate anything that filled that role. Yeah. You, it you know what I'm saying? Like, it I mean, I think gaming is, it sounds like she hates that more. <laughs> and gaming does have a stigma to it, unfortunately. In, yes, it in does. relationships and stuff, because it's like, oh, you're not That's doing part anything. Of this, but for sure. You're doing other things. You're, you're doing something. But, like you if know. he was going for a walk or something. Right. Or going to the like, strip club. You know, like it could be. Sure. So I'm just smoking one complete pack of cigarettes. <laughs> right in front <laughs> butchering and eating a dog. Right. There's all kinds of hobbies that people have. Clubbing a seal. Part of me wants to not even, I almost just want to declare, I don't know if we have a thing for this. I think we usually just call it a mistrial. If it's like, I I, I don't know if I really think either of them are guilty, but like if I have to declare him innocent or guilty, then like I said, I'm leaning towards the guilt. I do think he's probably not being totally mindful, but, but again, it's the same. It's, it's just a hard situation because they're both doing stuff all day and are tired. Like, they both need their break time. There's just not – you have to work it out. You have to compromise. You have to make sacrifices. But it sucks for everyone involved. I have a question. <laughs> did you hit your gavel? Wear a damn condom. Yeah, I did. Hey, shut up. You this is to... the post. When we both hit our gavels, we're allowed to come together for the final were you telling summary me to, of it. Were you telling me to wear a condom? Yeah. I don't. That's gross. I always have one on. Constantly? <laughs> I wake up, socks, shoes, condom in that order. You put it over the shoes. The door. Over the shoes, you put them on. Socks, shoes. Yes, because I don't want way. them to get dirty. In that's other a good way homes. to not get. That's good. That's good. You don't trail <laughs> dirt. people's homes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they can get dirty on the street, but not in homes. Go ahead. We need to. We're supposed to give him a punishment or something. We, we did call him guilty, so Tyler th- does have to do something here. I think the other punishment is she's pregnant. There's another punishment coming out of her. <laughs> <laughs> it's bad enough already. You know what your punishment? It's twins. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> Congratulations, triplets. Have a good day. Hey, listen, yeah, your, punishment, well, uh, yeah. your punishment for having sexual relations is a child, so there you go. Clearly, they, they like having this kid. They liked right. it so much, they did it again. No, hey, but they have, they, they, they're, they're complaining about not having time. They had time to go do the, the hanky panky and uh, uh, have another to kid not, to woohoo. To ever, Jesus Christ! To uh, what do they say on like uh, the old game shows? No, I don't want. I, I don't want to say it because it's okay. I, my least favorite phrase. I can't remember in it. history. Make they whoopee. say making whoopee, whoopee. 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 Nothing makes me want to fucking throw up more than making, yeah, whoopee. making whoopee. My yeah, lunch like, will come up in a second. Just <laughs> and like honestly, that, horrible. Like, what? Where does what does that even mean? Like what? At least woo. I like woohoo because I have so, the, the Sims. That's like I have pop pop in the attic. <laughs> the very <laughs> fact that you call it that tells me you're, you're not, not ready, ready yet. Yeah. Anyway. So yeah, I think uh, they, they have their own punishment. That's your punishment. Yeah, it, it solves it solves itself. It's right. There or he has you. to play the, like the My Little Pony game. Like he can't play Call of Duty anymore. He has to play. Uh... Sure. Or he has to game with the child. He has oh. to play. He has to play a game with the the eighteen month old. I think there's some parents out there, I hope viewers so. and listeners of the show. We'd love to hear from you from a more informed worldview. How do you manage your free time and your break time from, from when you have little kids, if you do or did or once will? Uh, do you think that we're right on this case? Do you side with the, the father or the mother or, or, or whatever circumstances you think are at fault here? Leave us a comment on YouTube or you can email us. It's geeksontrial at gmail.com. Hey, same place while you're there. I'm sure you've got some geeky thing going on in your life. You play too many video games. You had a board game dispute about the rules. You uh, walked by a, a chess tournament and you flipped the table just for fun. And you want to know if that was okay. Email us anything that has to do with the geeky subculture. We will settle your case here on the air. Uh, and we also have a link if you're just too stupid to write out a paragraph yourself. It has a little form and it'll tell you all the things that you need right there. Very convenient. It's always good to call them stupid right before we're at. The, about I said, if they're for, too stupid, ask them if for they're money. stupid. Hey, if, if you they're not help, stupid, they don't need it. If you want to help support the show, head on over to patreoncom slash trial. Just give us five bucks a month. Take it out of your kids' college fund. They're not going to need it any anytime soon. The colleges are going to melt because it's so hot, it's so hot. Yeah, yeah. It's very yeah, yeah, warm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's five I mean, bucks if a month. They want to be president, though. They might need to go. Eh, eh. Five bucks a month. Uh, early access to shows, new shows, five bucks a month. fun shows, all the shows. Just give us your money. We need your money. Look at this robe; it's getting tattered. Five hey, bucks uh, a month. Hey, sir, sir. When you're not, when you're not five with bucks baby, a month. when you're not with child, where can people find you on the internet? Hey, why don't you go listen to my other podcast? It's called The Yerky Boys, an Animorphs podcast. Uh, we're in the home stretch. 
Only only a few months left of books for us to read. If you want to catch up on that series, uh, you can find all my other stuff and social medias and everything at JonathanEstes.com. It's my name in that order. You can you can do I need to throw it to you like can't you just start talking? Don't you no, know it's, when it's, I'm done? It's nice for you to be like, hey, where are you? It, it shows it shows support it's just for another, me. Does it like you can you know it's your time to talk? It's, I don't it's need part to... of being a good host and you're just being a douchebag no, right now. Like, and you I think can it's just very say it. much a thing that you should <laughs> just be a like, break. hey, where can you don't, find In fact, you don't even need you don't need to say it to me. You can say check out our Patreon. Then there's a pause, and then I know now is when I plug my thing. Ah, you're just a piece of shit. It's fine. Piece of shit. We're not like I know the formula. We don't need to trick people into thinking but we're having everyone, a natural conversation. For everyone, this is their first episode. Uh, YouTube.com slash the snack guys. Where can we where find you, you Ivan? Online me this week. On... <laughs> I'm just curious, Ivan. I really a love real to know bag where, of shit you where are. on the internet could your uh, sh- can we find you besides this show? Like, are you on YouTube or anything like that? Shaking babies and I'd love to uh, follow you against families. Yeah, YouTube.com slash uh, the snack guys, where you can follow me and IvanHan.com for all my other stuff. And until next time, I'm Ivan Han. Oh, it's over. I'm Jonathan Estes, Thank and God. another case has just been shut tight. <laughs>